presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you been? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's a three-day weekend. You gotta love it. And my grandson Tommy is running now. Okay, you heard that promo. The first day that uh, Tommy's taking him out for a walk. Well, he just sent me a video. He's running now. You gotta love life, man. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love. To serve your love to your lover in every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 337, Nasdaq's up 7, S&P's down 17, gold contract down 450 at 1816 an ounce. We got silver off 21 cents, $22.94 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 75, $83.87 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note. Down 18 ticks, trading 128.05. The 30 year off a full point, plus 11 ticks at 155.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up at 368 ticks, trading 95, 157. Euros are at 114.17. Yen is at 114.13. The British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, folks, is that this market can't get out of its way. Right now, Europe coming into the swing low. And bottom line, you had, we come down yesterday with some volume. Today is going to be light volume. That being said, it can't catch price. The SPY right now is down 187. And I expect, yeah, it might be down 140 you know, to 220. I mean, that's, that's the reality coming in here. Um, Let's go take a look at the sort of intraday for a second. So intraday, we just try to get up. Let's see. That's good volume too. This yeah, this could this could, this could try to get a little bit higher into the close. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. The NDX is really deep into this bar, folks. Okay, so that says we're going to the bottom of the bar. The the top of this bar that's going into is that's 380. The bottom is 369. Uh, the difference differential inside of the queues is the queues also have volume. We've we've already done 67 million. So what you're going to have here, we'll end up doing probably 80 million. So what you're going to see there is you're going to have a lower low, and you're going to have an expansion of volume from yesterday. That's how it looks. So that's telling me that guess what? We want to go after the swing low. That swing low there is the uh, 369, and of course. That 350 is what I'm looking for on this fresh leg down. And the thing that's so bizarre, actually, you know, when we, when we're saying the 350, we're already halfway there. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, 374 we hit today, the high's up here, 400. So it's pretty amazing how quick it can actually go. Gold, gold contract out here, trading down 410. Uh, it, that's a sideways move. It's, it's still at the highs up here. That's the bottom line. I uh, done 160,000 contracts. I believe we did about 191 yesterday. Oh, nice. Two, we did 216 pushing it to the high. So bottom line, you're backing down. You get light volume. This thing wants to break this uh, 1833, get up to this uh, 1881 area. And let's go over to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar had a nice breakdown this week. Uh, it's trying to get to higher price once again. Normally what ends up happening is this. When you do a break, and this is a break with conviction, 
what you're going to get is that you break with conviction, then you're going to go back up and test the breakout area, which is the 95,625. And if that's what we do and then give it up, then now uh, you get a nice ABC structure on the way down. That will bring you down to this 92,278 and 91. We go take a look at the euro. That's just the, separate, uh, the exact opposite correlation where the dollar is going. You can see the, the euro broke topside yesterday, pulling back today. Euro wants higher price. Notes and bonds. Let's look at this now. This is getting intriguing out here in the note and bond market, no doubt. You get the 10 year down 18 ticks. When we take a look at this 10 year, what you're going to see is you're down on 1.4 million contracts. That's big contract volume, by the way. Uh, last time we were down here, so at 1.4. Five. The top of that is one twenty-eight, twelve. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna go after the, the swing low. Now, when we come back to work next week, this is where it's gonna get really intriguing, folks, because we have a, an A to B set up, and the A to B is one thirty, one nineteen to one twenty-seven. So you're talking about what, three and a half points? One th no, four and a half points. That could get you down to one, yeah, that could get you down to 124. So if we break this low, and we know we're going to have the volume, meaning that we'll have the volume, we'll have the price next week, bottom line, that's what you better be looking out for. If we take a look at the 10-year note right now, it's yielding 1.77. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today is that you get Ford up 10 cents, you get Advanced Micro up 250. Bank of America is down one. Oh, let's go to J.P. Morgan. It's just getting smoked, man. This is, <laughs> when you think things are easy, that's when the market just hands it to you in two seconds, okay? Meaning when I say things are easy, that, listen, the banks, if the rates are going up, the banks should be making money hand over fist. Bottom line is that, yeah, they are, but guess what? Their expense ratio has gone up so dramatically that that's what you're seeing here with down $11.15. And that, what that sets up, by the way, okay, this is going to set up a lower end consolidation at 150. Right now, you're at 157. We put this on a weekly, and on a weekly, it doesn't even look like it's moved. But the, the, it, in fact, it's a consolidation that's been going on since March of 2021. And the bottom of this consolidation is at 147. I expect, guess what? That's where you're going to go. That's, that's how this is setting up right now. Um, and... I'm sure that a lot of folks uh, got sideswiped on that J.P. Morgan because the numbers weren't that bad. But the bottom line is that they got to make up, you know, what you're going to have is that when you have trading deals, you have investment banking deals, um, and then you have the expense ratio. Because what's going on in the financial business right now, folks, is that you have each of these banks grabbing their other employees. So they got to turn around and give them monster bonuses just to keep them. That's hitting the bottom line, and it's hitting the bottom line in a big way. The more they gave the employees, of course, the less the stockholders. Fundamentally, that's the way it works. Dow Industrials down 320. NASDAQ up 14. S&P's down 14 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down uh, 284. NASDAQ is up 33. S&P is uh, off uh, 9.5 right now. Inside the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. And what we have, there we go. Uh, Strength-wise here, you get uh, Amgen putting uh, 27 positive points, Microsoft 25. Uh, Caterpillar 14, Chevron 14, taking away from it. Home Depot, minus 99, Goldman minus 72, JP Morgan 71, uh, American Express 39. Uh, we get over and we take a look at, uh, let's go to Google, because this is really interesting here. So we take a look at Google. You know, Google's up $17.5. We're trading out at 2,800. The high for the year is 3,037. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so put this back. Okay, this is going to get interesting. Okay, so we have a high with no volume. We tested with pretty good volume, but we never made it to the high, which is important. Then we came down with volume. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is this, folks, okay? So you have, uh, we have the Justice Department going after Google and Facebook. Now, this one here is really intriguing. Now, listen, listen to this. So they just, uh, so the chief executive officer of uh, Google and its parent Alphabet personally approved what state attorneys general say was a legal agreement with Facebook to manipulate the digital advertising market according to a new court filing by the states. This was done this morning. Details of the CEO's alleged sign off on a pack were revealed Friday morning in an amended antitrust complaint against Google filed by a coalition of states led by a te a Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. The case was filed in December of 2020. Now listen what the complaint is, though. This is where, this is, uh, this is just amazing, actually. They're gonna, at the center of the complaint <coughs> is a 2018 agreement between Google and Facebook, which Google codenamed Jedi, Jedi, Jedi Blue. The agreement was intended to kill an advertising tool that was gaining popularity with publishers and that Facebook supported. According to the states, Google saw Facebook's role as a competitive threat to its lucrative advertising business, the states allege, to get Facebook to abandon the tool favored by the publishers. It agreed to give the social media company advantages in online ad, ad auctions routed through Google's own technology. According to the new, the new court filing, the CEO of Google signed off as well as 
Sheryl Sandberg, the chief operating officer of uh, Facebook. Sandberg has described the agreement with Google as a big deal strategically in an email thread that included uh, Mark Zuckerberg, according to the complaint, which claims that Meta executives told Zuckerberg they needed his approval to move forward with the deal. Google said in a statement that the advertising business operated a highly competitive atmosphere. That's a bunch of bull. The bottom line is that they got a stranglehold on it, folks, uh, in a monster way. And uh, we'll see if they can uh, get this thing done. You know, when I look at Google, I mean, when, you know, Google, <laughs> you know, you go back to March uh, of the pandemic and it was a thousand dollar stock is three thousand twenty seven hundred. That being said, though, guess what? This sellers in Google. When you get the all time highs at three, three thirty seven, four point seven million. And then you're coming down with seven million. This week we come down with six point one. The swing point has five point six. This is coming down, man. They, they're going to, if, <coughs> there's a couple of different things that are happening <coughs> inside this advertising business. And what it is, is that the, Google had bought the first ad, who was it, ad, I remember this company, because this company was in Cambridge. I was actually in their office once, a long time ago. But this is what all the automated, uh, Double click. Thank you. Thanks, Z. I appreciate it. They, what, what happened is that all the, uh, everything started getting automated. So I suspect what ended up happening is that whatever tool that Facebook had was basically saving publishers money and get, you're getting more clarity as to what you're looking at. And I suspect if they can, if they can get them, if they can grab them on that deal, that'd be a great deal for all of us. Because the bottom line is that you know, you can see these large companies, man, <laughs> they could care less about how much they're charging, how much, you know, the, the bottom line is there's just only one thing in front of them, and that is get as much money as you can get no matter how you get it, you know. And you can see in that article, though, this is what's really cool about that article. In that article, you can see that Shan, uh, um, Sh Shabon, one second. Cheryl Sandberg also is saying she wanted Zuckerberg's okay. And they wanted the, the okay from the CEOs because the bottom line is that they know flat out the bottom line that's illegal. You can't, you can't, you can't call up a competitor. They're the two largest here. Well, well, let's look at this. Watch this. So Google, if you just want to see the type of, type of money that is involved. Okay, so revenue. I think that's going to be all... Okay, so, yeah, so when we're talking, not cloud, other bit. Okay, so Google does $168 billion a year in advertising, $168 billion, and Facebook, does $84 billion. So you can see, what, 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 that's $260 billion between them. You know, the bottom line, you can see, you know, yeah, they make the deal, and I remember reading this story before. When they updated this story, they should have put in what they actually did is that this story here is saying they only gave Google a deal. The bottom line is that they gave them more than a deal. There's a kickback in there somewhere that they can basically push more ads through Google, charge the people more money, and you get the gist of it. Um, Market-wise out here, it looks like uh, ESH. Let's go take a look at these futures. Yeah, down 475. Uh, this was down as much as uh, 4606. So bottom line, you're 40 points off of that number. Um, if it can get, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Is it one? It's got to get up. It's got to get almost flat. If it gets flat, man, the bottom line is that you're going to get another bounce next week. That's how this is shaking out. Um, and this is definitely, this is where, this is wild. The S&P, you can see the S&P is set up totally different than the NASDAQ. So the S&P still has one, two, three, four higher lows and three, or at least two higher highs. That being said, you go over to the NQs and you're talking about a whole different number, man. Inside of the NQs, what you have is that you have three lower lows and we have two lower highs.
You know, so bottom line is that that is more problematic. So we'll see how this whole thing uh, shakes out. Um, if you go take a look at, there was a lot of buzzing around today about um, a, 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 um, about Kathy Wood and the amount of money that's coming out of um, the ARC ETF. Um, that's trading $80. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, this is a 52-week low today. Uh, Money-wise, uh, you know, they're talking about they pulled uh, what, $352 million out of the fund. That's, that's big money. They, it has big money, but that's still big money, folks. Stay right there. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 272. You get the NASDAQ up 52. S&Ps are up uh, uh, down 6.5. And, and uh, you know, I didn't lose my bear suit. Uh, <laughs> so my take on this market, folks, is that uh, what we are going to see here is that you know, somehow it looks to me like you know, the spy could actually, you know, try to get up to the highs again. I don't think it's going to make the highs because we're so far down. We come down so hard. But it, the, the spy could definitely get to 473. Right now you're at 463. Uh, the Qs are a whole different animal, man. The Qs, these things um, could blow up in a second. That, that's, that's the reality. Here, let me show you something. This gets interesting. So I was on the TD Ameritrade network. I'm on there about once a week for a half hour. And what had happened, you know, yesterday on my show here, I was talking about the FXI. Okay, so 
Well, here, yeah, let's go. First, we were talking about um, China in general. And the Hang Seng, if you take a look at this, okay, the Hang Seng, you know, went sideways last night. The prior night, it was up a couple percent. My take is the Hang Seng is off the lows. And if you, if, you know, the bottom line, if you're looking for an ETF, it's the FXI. Um, and if you, have, if you haven't traded the FXI before, something to keep in mind is that all the movement is down in China, and then we either open up higher, open up lower, and then it doesn't move that much all day long. That's kind of how that shakes out. So if we go over to the FXI first, <clears throat> what you're going to see is that the bottom line is that, you know, you're, you're at 3810. Um, you know, we'll see where this thing can get up to this uh, 42. That being said, what had happened is that they didn't. What happens when I'm on, folks, is that they want me. I do three trades, and I'm on one side. Uh, ben is on the other side. Um, basically, you know, whether agreeing or not agreeing on what I'm looking at. Um, but they didn't want an ETF. So the bottom line is that I went to Alibaba. Okay, Alibaba. And if you take a look at Alibaba, I'll, I'll get to the gist of the story. You get to Alibaba, you take a look at it. Okay, the stock has got killed. It's like down 60 percent. Okay, it had a high. It had a high established at three hundred nineteen dollars. Had a low that was established about eight weeks ago at one hundred six. You're one thirty, and my take here is that you know more than likely you're going to see this thing run to one fifty five. You're at one thirty. Okay, but now what, look at this. This is where it gets really interesting. So if we take a look at the revenue. What you're going to see inside the revenue is that they're still growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, in a monster way. Five years ago, they did 250 billion. This year, 867. They're growing by leaps and bounds, like in a monster way. Okay, you can see this. You know, when you talk about a three-year rate, it's like what 17 percent a year in China. They're growing uh, almost 19 uh, percent worldwide, and they're printing money. Then watch this. Now, this is where this really hits home. Okay, so my take is that we're going down to the October 4th low, right? But look at this P.E. The P.E., okay, you know, right now, 322 is $16 to 1. Well, the bottom line, when you look at this growth and you're paying 16 to 1, and then, and I love Amazon, don't get me wrong, but you go over to Amazon, and the bottom line, you take a look at this, You take a look at this baby, and you are paying $78. So trade-wise, Alibaba, I think, really has some big action here, man. That, that's the real bottom line. So it's going to be intriguing to see how this whole thing shakes out. Yeah, uh, the, the uh, LVS, the casinos went wild. Uh, no doubt you get uh, Las Vegas Sands uh, up 490, uh, trading at 42 and what that's all about is, I believe, Macau. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so you got um, U.S. listed casino stocks with operation in Macau uh, rose early in U.S. trading after the announcement of much anticipated changes to the local casino law aimed at tightening government oversight. Um, the news brings greater clarity for the operations of U.S. based Win and Sands. The proposed amendments. All seem largely in line with our thinking and should give investors some relief about the uncertainty of Macau's future. Yeah, the bottom line is that, so you can imagine, uh, the new change is Macau plans to give a maximum of six licenses for a 10-year extending to 13 years and limit the public float of casino firms. That's what the, the market's happy about right now, folks. Uh, you can imagine you have a casino. You, the license is everything, no matter how much money you put into it. And I suspect the market's happy because they're saying six licenses, thir 13 years, more than likely. You got wind, you got Las Vegas Sands that are already in the boot. And uh, turn the switch on, and you are off to the races again. Let's go to Home Depot. So Home Depot is the largest downdraft inside the Dow Industrials. Let's see what we have here. So you're, you're off the high of uh, 420. You're 370. It broke its consolidation. It's going to fill the gap. The gap's at 374. 374. So it broke that. Breaking down there. Let's see where this wants to go. Okay, so we put this on a weekly. 
Yeah, this can get down to like 345. Right now you're at 372. This is another one. You got a test of a high with 11 million. You get the high at 19. Then you come off the high with 19, and you come off the high with 22. Yeah, this is this this selling this baby down. Uh, Costco. Want to look at Costco here? Let's go take a look at Costco. So, Costco, the low is three three hundred seven dollars. The high is five seventy one. This is down fourteen dollars out here today, and yeah. All, you know, it's really wild, folks. All these charts look the same, man. We're going lower. You're breaking. What you're doing is this. What is that date? So November. November of last year, they break topside. They're coming into that area. And, you know, this is where when you, do, when you go on a straight line move, folks, on the way up, it's very dangerous when you come back because what happens is that just like, just picture that you're in an apartment building and there's no landings. So what ends up happening is that you can go a straight line move all the way up, at which, you know, this one here, we started at uh, 426 in October and it was straight line move to 560, you know, say $125, right? 426 um, was about 27%, right? Like nothing. You go sideways, that's with distribution at highs. You can see, you can see when you take a look at this, all these highs have low volume. First high had 2.9 million, <clears throat> next high of 1.7, then all of a sudden you start coming down to 2.4, 2.3, 4.9. Today we got 2.8. This is distribution and, and the bottom line is pushing uh, well, you're pushing, you're selling paper to get cash into your account. Uh, but that's, that looks to me like how these, a lot of these are set up. So we're going to see, uh, you know, we're going to see the volatility continue. And what I expect you're also going to see is that we're going to see lower prices coming at us. Um, and, yeah, we'll talk about the broadening top. Let's, let's hope it's not a broadening top because if it's a broadening top, folks, You'd be going down for a long period of time. And my take is that right now is that that's not what we have. Um, Dow Industrials right now are down 240. NASDAQ is up 75. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 235. Nasdaq's up 76. S&Ps are... They're fluctuating. They're down to the flat. Uh, BlackRock, folks, okay? So check this out. BlackRock, assets under management, A-U-M. You see A-U-M a lot. That's assets under management. $10 trillion with a T, folks, okay? Pretty amazing. There's, there's no two ways. Really amazing. Uh, now, this other story here, there's, there's two stories. I just pulled up BlackRock, actually, because I saw that, that $10 trillion this morning. But check this out. So that's BLT, BLK rather. Uh, Bolt Financial, a startup that makes online shopping tools used by Forever 21 and other retailers, raised funds value in the business at $11 billion. The deal nearly doubles the valuation from just three months ago. <laughs> Folks, we're in the funny money era in a monster way. Okay, because the, when, you, when, you got a, when you get a large company like this, so picture this for a second. So now... So 90 days ago, it was valued at 5.5 billion, and today is 11 billion, right? So this whole deal about what is something worth, okay, is amazing. And it's all about the pitch, the sell, and then how much cash is on the sideline. That's, that's the real bottom line. In this particular case, you know, it's like, okay, were, were they wrong? Like in a monster way, 90 days ago? Or uh, were they right? And the bottom line is that there's so much money on the sidelines now that the, they say flat out, okay, I will pay that type of money, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, Bolt sells software to online retailers that uh, promises a one-click checkout similar to Amazon. Last year, the company expanded to Europe with two business partnerships. The, the bottom line is I'm sure it's a great company. Uh, I'm bringing up the aspect more so in the context of how they value some of these companies because it's just a crapshoot, man. That's the real bottom line. If we learned anything, uh, if you remember the, uh, what was the guy that was doing all the short-term offices, right? That's, that was a crapshoot too. And uh, he's, still, he's still in the real estate business, but the bottom line for what they were valuing that company, uh, it got to be one-tenth of that value uh, once the hype was gone, you know? So we just had the uh, uh, E-minis go positive, uh, the NASDAQ is positive. Uh, let's go inside the NDX and see what's moving the NDX out here today. So you got Lamb Research is up uh, 6%, AMAT's up 6%, Clack's up 5 Look at this, man. These NDX stocks, man, I mean the, uh, the chip stocks, they just move markets up and down. It's just, it's not a just. They do move markets up and down. You can see this out here today. Taken away from the NDX, you got... Uh, uh, Monster Beverage is down 4.6%. Uh, you got uh, Sirius Satellite off 2.9. Um, you got uh, Delt, uh, Dollar Tree down 2.6. And you got Costco down uh, 2.1. If we go back to Monster.com for uh, Monster Beverage for a second, there's, there's a story here. This is pretty wild. You know, the in St. Petersburg and Tampa, folks, okay, there's a huge amount of uh, draft uh, wouldn't we call it draft beer? What, what, um, small distilleries, small draft distilleries. Um, one of the larger ones, okay, was uh, Tampa. Yeah, so check this out. I remember when this started and everything. Okay, so where are you? Let's see. You bought this place today, Cigar City. So what ended up happening is that 
uh, make a long story short, Cigar City Breweries. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> so uh, this guy that um, is, you know, well known in the Tampa area, uh, him and his son started this brewery, Cigar City, right? Bottom line, they sold Cigar City to a company about three years ago. And they got, I believe, like 110, 115 million. Well, Monster just bought it today off that company for 300 and something million. Um, and they, they, it's a great beer. There's no doubt about that. But it's just amazing to me how fast you can actually build something up inside of the beverage business. And uh, it looks like uh, Monster Beverage uh, is, well, they're definitely into the, the booze business now. I didn't, uh, that, this might be the first take into, the, into that business. Uh, they, even they can grow, amazing. So five years ago, four years ago, they did 3.8 billion. This year they're gonna do 5.4 billion and they just keep bringing money to the bottom line. That's, that's how this baby is set up. So pretty, pretty wild. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, oh, I know. Hey. Arc Innovation. I, this is what I want to go into. So the story out here this morning. Okay, so picture this. Today's the 52-week low for Arc Innovation Fund. And we put this back. And what you're going to see, let's put this on a weekly. And you can see quite clearly on a weekly, first it broke its consolidation at the, uh, well, first off, the, the high in this is 158. Then it broke the consolidation at 108. And when you take a look at this, you know, you, you take the top of the consolidation was what? 131. So 108, that gets it down to 70. So far we've made it hit 77. But look at this volume, folks. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is this. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Look at this. This is an ABC down on a weekly, man. One second. Hold it. This is a monster. Kathy Wood's going to come right down the street. So picture this. Our address, folks, is 300 um, Third Ave South. She's 200 Central. She's literally a block away from us. Got to get her in here. 124 to 88. You get 36 points. That gives you 63. A to B equals C to D is 63 bucks. I bet this is going to 59. This is going all the way back to where it almost took off from. I mean, the way she became so famous, of course, is that when all the, the fangs were running, the, the, you know, I'll show you what she owns, okay, is that the ETF went from $32 in March, pandemic, straight up to 158. Now, if we look at what she owns, what you're going to see, it's pretty clear, you know, where this is going. Tesla, 8.2% position. Zoom, 6%. Telelock Health, 6%. Roco, 5%, 5 6%. Coinbase, 5.6%. Spotify, 47 Bottom line, Twillow, uh, 4.1%. Block, 4 The bottom line is that, uh, you know, the high flyers... You, you take the run. When you take the run up, man, you're going to get a pullback. In this particular case, this pullback has been vicious. There's no doubt about that. Um, let's just go take a look at Zoom for a second, because that's her second largest hold, and we know what Tesla looks like. Zoom, this has been a one-way trip down for Zoom. I think this is 400 and something down to 50 bucks. 580. Oh, my God. 580. We're at 159 right now. Now, this is back to the breakout area. One... Oh, no, it's below the breakout area. Whoa, 135. What's that? That's 183. It broke that. Yeah, broke that. So, yeah, man, 135 is game. <laughs> this is intense. Yeah. This is probably an AB, ABC down, too. Some heavy scenes, man. No doubt. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading... Uh, down 186, we get the NASDAQ up 78, S&Ps up three and a half. We'll come right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. 
You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down 193. The Nasdaq's up 76. S&Ps are up two. So let's see uh, how these are setting up as we go into the long weekend. Markets are closed Monday, folks. Tuesday is, uh, you know, when the markets will open. We take a look at the SPY. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly. That's how we'll to do these. Okay, so I'll look at that on a weekly. You're coming into 292. We did 400. On a weekly, it's not saying much, man. That's interesting. Okay, let me do the NDX 100. Put this on a weekly also. Yeah, you got an expansion. Of, okay, so yeah, the NDX is a different ballgame. 367, 400. So you broke the consolidation. Yeah, 350 is game here, man. Yeah, you know, first off, you have to get out of 382. I could do that pretty easy, but I suspect 350's game. And then, you know, it's also sticking out. I might as well start getting people used to it right now. It's sticking out like a sore thumb also, folks, 297. You know, 297, you can see that, that low has never got tested. You know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're looking, when you get turns in the market, for you, folks, would you have, just go to the bottom and look for the high volume bars. And then you want to see, has that high volume got tested? It hasn't got tested, guess what? It's like a magnet. That's sucking all the way down. Bottom line, you know, I suspect is, you know, I suspect more than likely if we if we start messing around up here, meaning going sideways, that's building cause, then we'll blow away the 350, and then you'd see some real damage. And you know what we've talked about before, which we absolutely know, 
is that there's plenty of investors in traders that have never seen a pullback. That's, that's a reality. And, you know, um, bottom line, they've been right each and every time for the last 13 years, buying every dip, you know. And we'll, we'll find out how, how this shakes out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Um, come back and visit us Tuesday morning. Tommy kicks us off. He's got a great show. I want to thank uh, all the hosts at TFN. I want to thank all you tigers and tigresses. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And remember, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, have a blast. Real! Look at him, folks. Bill